Hello and welcome back to the EGL Open 2015 here once again in Norbrecht Castle in Blackpool. My name is Raul, this is Stelt and we are going to be guiding you through the series between Nexium and Vendetta Nation. Stelt, so far we've seen Nexium really perform extremely well on that hardpoint game. Uh, oh, without a doubt. I mean, it's really what we expected as well. I mean, Nexium, a hell of a good squad. Obviously, yep. the recent pickup of Golly has really helped them. L went absolutely huge for his squad. I mean, he ends up dropping 45, I think, in the end. Yeah. Which was pretty impressive. I mean, first map, first game of the, it, this event for him. Absolutely. And he's dropping numbers like that. So it's going to really give him a confidence boost that he's going to need. Especially when we're coming out to Search and Destroy, we're going to be... I don't know how he's going to go. I thought Van Dessel could do this, but... After seeing such a, a dominating performance from Nexium, I kind of like questioned my own uh, judgment. Well, I mean, what really stood out for me in terms of the Vendetta Nation lineup was was Unks and Yuzi. These are the two the two new guys to the to the um, offline competitive scene. So this is their first event. Unks being the AR Slayer, Yuzi the SMG support. Rifle War and Hectics didn't have the best arm to pro placement. Oh. Didn't have the best defense there. And just getting into this game, we can see L left all on his own as Vendetta Nation completely shut him down. Can L pull this off? I'll be impressed. If he can, he's actually picked up Hectic from the back third. He's able to do it. He's going to see one more inside the oh lobby. My. He gets the kill there as well. This is huge 2v1 situation now for L. But he is red. He's going to have to duck out the way. And Bomb has been planted, I might point out, with 30 seconds left to get the defuse. Well, L certainly the MVP of the previous map. Can he start off strong here? Still two left to find, but time is ticking away. Vendetta Nation playing this perfectly now. They do have one person just about to check the bomb site. Oh, could L have gone for a defuse there? Maybe he has. has he, seen him? he has seen him. Oh, and he's oh. not going to be able to make that jump. Do you know what, Stealth? I don't think there would have been enough time regardless. No, there wouldn't have been enough time, but it's really unfortunate he had missed that jump. I mean, it would have made things a little bit more interesting. He would have got down into a, from a 4v1 situation to a 1v1. I mean, it's, I mean, it's an impressive man to get down to two, to be fair. And last that long. I mean, the one thing criticism I have of Vendetta in that round, they weren't close enough to be able to trade off the kills. Okay, well, I mean, I can't agree with you more on that. They still managed to clutch up though and take the first round away from Nexium. As we say, this is, uh, I mean, it was your prediction was that Vendetta Nation might actually be able to take this map from the Nexium boys. Let's see if that does ring true. They do have the first round under the belt now. I want to watch Cambo. He's the bomb carrier. And as we say, uh, such an integral part to this team. This team wouldn't be the same without Cambo. No, it wouldn't. I mean, we're going to hover over him now. He's on top of Eric on units. He this is a slow push. Any, it is a very slow push, but you can't see anyone that's ahead of him. You can see that the Vendetta squad has actually got really quite aggressive here. As Cambo now is going to push through into lobby, he doesn't see that there as Hectix gets first blood. Well, that's not bad at all. I mean, looking at the seeds here, I, I do apologise before. But Rez, unfortunately, I hate admin in this, but Rez was right. He, he's 10th seed here. <laughs> Got a bit confused on the XL table. It's 10th seed for Nexium, 42nd seed for Vendetta Nation. So that kind of shows you the difference uh, in ability and competence of these teams. But Vendetta Nation looking pretty good uh, initially on the search destroyer. Look at this place that Hughes has got up here. That is a cheeky little spot, that one, isn't it? Oh, but he's been spotted, and that's the danger of it. You do kind of just peek out. Yeah, he has been taken out now. A 3v2 situation in favor of Nexium. Golly has seen a player on top third. He's able to get that kill. And it's down to Hectix in a 1v3. As the bomb will surely be planted soon enough. But no, it's Hectix actually stopping that bomb going in. He's going to try and get the kill within this hut. Unfortunately, he is rushed and not get the kill. Hectix had absolutely no chance. He was completely cornered. They knew exactly where he was. They had him surrounded. If L didn't pick up that kill for whatever reason, there was another Nexium player about to put in. Great teamwork once again from Nexium, and this is something that I've got to say has rung true in the previous Hardpoint game as well, and something that I feel that the Vendetta Nation team are lacking. Uh, there just seems to be the, this inconsistency with Vendetta Nation, and this is what can sometimes work in their advantage on Search and Destroy because it's unpredictable. Uh, but at the same time, when it comes to, to working objectively as a team and shutting things up and clutching up, that's where Nexium have the advantage. Yeah, without a doubt, I mean, Nexium have that chemistry, and now oh, that's a huge need there from Rifle as he takes down one. Hectic actually picks out another as well. Cambo trading it out though, good play from him, that's better. And he's going to see one player ahead of him, Rifle actually gets the kill onto Golly. And it's Cambo left at 1v3, and as I say, that is round over. Well played again from Vendetta. Yeah, well, it's uh, it's the attacking round each time that seems to be making the moves here. And, um, you know, it's something, generally speaking, I, I think a lot of people would agree, as a general uh, kind of feeling, defence is easier. You, the, the time is effectively on your side in, in most respects. Uh, but. Attack seems to be the most favoured one when it comes to Riot here. Vendetta Nation going up against Nexium. If you are just joining us, this is, of course, a best of five kicking things off at EGL. And uh, the first solar hardpoint map was 250 to 132 in Nexium's favour. Yeah, I think we've got to show a little bit of love to Rez. I mean, he is in his bottom of the minute with 0 and 3. Oh. He's not having the best of the game, so maybe he can pick it up a little. Campo has actually picked up another kill. He's taken down the Hectics once again. I think that's now 
uh, two rounds in a row he's actually taken him out. Yeah, in those one-on-one -on -one gunfights, he's, he's definitely coming out on top. Rez, though, here, as you say, not the greatest start here in the Search and Destroy game. Uh, and Rez, certainly the Marmite player of European Call of Duty. <laughs> uh, love him or hate him, though, he, he is a, an incredibly talented player, and a, a lot of top pro players would also agree to that and, uh, and give him some credibility for it. So uh, definitely one to keep an eye on, but he is really struggling on the Search and Destroy. Yeah, he's getting taken down once again. It's going to be Rifle this time. L inside this post office area now, just checking out, making sure nobody's around. How the time is ticking down. 12 seconds yes. left on the clock. Somebody has to go in for the defuse. Rifle's going to go for it. He does have the support oh! of the team. No, he doesn't. And that is a massive, massive play there. Wow. L picks up another thing at the two piece. Oh, so unlucky. Oh my goodness, and that was a big clutch once again. And, you know, this is what we were talking about. This was the, the, the kind of Nexium factor, if you like. They timed that perfectly, completely dedicated that attack to the bomb diffuser. They knew that as long as they got that kill, it doesn't matter what happens because there wasn't enough time left in the game. And Nexium pull it back. Yeah, there we go. We're going to hop on board now with... Uh, who are we going to hop? Rifle. Let's show a bit of love to Rifle. It's three and two. He's, you know, he's not playing too bad here at this, this time round. Two a piece though in this search to destroy. Rifle again with the nade stroke. The top is he able to get a kill this time around? No. But you can see next I'm playing this quite passively. Oh, who who is this that's sneaked all the way around? I want to see you. Oh, there it's he hectics. Is. There we go. He's actually pushed around the back and taken out Campbell. Good find Golly here. Oh, Call of Duty time in there works against him. Bomb though has been planted. Yeah, 39 seconds now, and uh, L's actually picked up Unks there, so Golly's just running straight through mid. He does have L ahead of him, 2v2 situation. You really expect them to get a little bit closer to trade him off, but they're not doing mm. just that. I mean, Golly's now just like, dipping in and out around fire, I'm trying to see anyone. You can see ahead of him, the rifle does get taken down by L, and there's now a 1v2, and Husey really needs to get some sort of eyes on bomb soon, because the defuse could come in very quickly. Just going to actually check if it's going down, and it certainly is, and let's see if it, he can pull this off, and Husey makes the <gasps> big kill. Is it going to be enough? I'll get straight into the fuse, yes. and uh, L is going to be able to clean that up in the nick of time. I mean, Husey, valiant play there, did exactly what he needed to do. But with one second to spare, Nexium managed to take that round, and that could be the decider stealth. Yeah, I mean, it's the first offensive win that we've had this time round. So we'll see if they're going to continue this role going into the attacking side of things now. And Rez, still 0-5. and five. Oh, yeah, Rez isn't, uh, Rez isn't having the best search and destroy game at all. Let's see if he can make things change here as we go into round six. Actually, now opting for that ASM1. I'm just slightly confused why it still says Bal in the, the bottom corner. <laughs> I was just trying to work out what was going on there, but it is definitely there an ASM1. Go. Finds a kill against Hectix and finally breaks that curse that he's on. Yeah, I think he needed that to pick up his confidence a little bit more. He's going to push straight the way through towards the opposition spawn here. He's going to see another player. Oh. Heaven gets the kill. Campbell actually takes down Unks as well, but he does get taken out from behind. It's now a 1v4 situation. His rifle actually picks up a nice two-piece, taking out Cambo and Rez. Yes, and you're absolutely right. This was a 1 versus 4. Do not forget that because if Rifle War manages to pull this off, it's going to be absolutely huge for Vendetta Nation. They'll tie things up 3 3 and they'll be right back into this game. Yeah, you know, he sees one player ahead of him. This is quite advantageous to him. However, that player has managed to just evade his sights. A nade just comes streaming past his face. Is he able to get any sights on the player? He does oh. get tagged up from behind. He does manage to duck out of the way though. He's going to go ahead and try to challenge and will be shut down. Two round difference now in favor of Nexium. Yeah, and I, you know, I've got to say with Rifle War there, you could see he was hungry for those kills he needed to actually make him. He didn't want to go for a sneaky defuse at all, but he left himself very, very exposed. I think that was his downfall, trying to get a good scope on the map to try and locate where the enemy was, uh, but it did certainly cost him. So Nexium actually now striding ahead, and after a bit of a slow start to this search and destroy, they're asserting their dominance once more. Yeah, kind of really picked up quite a bit. I think it's Rez actually picking up two kills in that round that actually, you know, helped them quite a bit to be fair. And look at that, that's a massive nade coming in from Yuzi as he managed to take down L. Golly actually gets the first bounce on so but Cambo once again, I mean this is trades coming in left, right and centre and it's rifle left in a clutch situation once again. Yeah, and it, it, this is happening too many times. Rifle being left all on his own. Now, whether that's, you know, his fault, maybe he's not getting too involved in the game and, and kind of just sitting back a bit. Oh. Who knows? But he's managed to find Rez. So one versus one now, completely opposite ends of the map. So this is going to be a very slow, drawn-out round from here. He's got plenty of time. Where is he going to take this bomb? Because this is going to be a, a huge decision he's going to make. Yeah, he's, he's made the right one, I think. Going straight towards A. Uh, it was Golly actually round by the B bomb site. However, he is hot on his tail. He's going to be able to poke his head out across and look across at the bomb site and actually see the player go for <gasps> <gasps> He doesn't. 
he's not oh, seen him. Saucy. Oh, and that is so unfortunate. And he's going to be so confused now. He's going to be like, what on earth? I swear I checked that bomb. Yeah. You can see the immediate <laughs> reflex there from Golly. The panic as he tries to get to that bomb site as quickly as possible. Look at this now. Rifles managed to distance himself from it. Yeah, he's now just pushed out towards far. He has seen the pair ahead of him. Can he do this? He does catch up this time round and get the bomb plant and the 2v1 situation. Well played, Rifle. Yeah, Rifle actually having a great game. And as I said, I think it gave him a bit of criticism in that hard point. There, was some, there were numerous team kills by yes. Rifle. And, and don't get me wrong, I think regardless of whether they happened or not, that game was always going towards next year. But he's having a great search and destroy. I do, again, want to focus a little bit more on Husey because in terms of people, this is Husey's first event, and the hardpoint game, he was the best player for Vendetta Detonation, in my opinion, by far. This Search and Destroy game, he's up there as well, alongside Rifle War. Oh yeah, he's having a great, great series so far. I mean, it's unfortunate, again, that he lost the hardpoint, but in this Search and Destroy, he's really holding his own once again. I'm going to hop on forward with Golly, as Rifle actually takes down Rez once again. This is great play from him, and Golly's now pushing out through the Oh, oh How is he no! doing all his shots? He's just got absolutely ruined there. Wow, and that uh, that was quite something. I, that was almost a guaranteed kill. I'm not sure quite what happened there, but it definitely fell apart. We do see a numerical advantage now for Vendetta Nation. If they manage to capitalize on this, they'll bring themselves right back into this and tie things up 4-4. Yeah, now Cambo left in a 1v3. He has seen that play. No, he hasn't. He's trying to back out, out of the way. He is pushing straight away through the mid. He does have bombs and he does get taken out. Four apiece now, well played Vendetta. And after such a dominating uh, hard point match, earlier this is quite something different then detonation need to make the most of their search and destroys they've got to take this i cannot see them beating nexium on hardpoint again they need to take the search and destroys and uplink i think it's the only way they can take this series stealth yeah without a doubt i do genuinely feel that if this was to go a little bit further if vendetta take this i don't see any other way than it's going nexium because their their respawn game types the yep. way that they play it works out in their favor perfectly However, Vendetta are putting up one hell of a fight in this game, and it's really great to see. Okay, well, most forward here is Hectix. He is going to be the bomb planter, though. Doesn't look like he's going to get contested. It looks like, though, th there's a bit of a, a united push here from L and Golly looking to go for the sweep around. We are seeing shots being fired. No kills made yet. No, nothing just yet. Hectic's now pushing out towards post. He does have one player right above him, though. He doesn't know he's there. Unks does get taken down by Golly. Nexium L gets taken out. Husey. But then <laughs> trade coming in perfectly. That's how you play it. This is you it. get it close. You trade it off as soon as one of your players goes down. Numerical advantage now. Back in favor of Nexium. As Rez is going in for the defuse. Oh, you cheeky little boy, you. The sneaky rascal. He's managed to get the defuse again. <laughs> I mean, can't even believe it. <laughs> look at him. He's, he's, he's ecstatic with that. It's probably the best thing he's ever done at LAN. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Let's yeah, not go that far. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, great play there from Nexium. And as we said, they, they did have that number advantage going up against Vendetta Nation there. So I, I think that was a, a wise move from them. And it's very easy to say that now with it being pulled off. But they, they had a good surround on it, and they knew that there's nobody there. So great play from Red Spice made that news. Yeah, Cambo there trying to pre-fire straight away through post. Might have seen somebody. Have we knew that there was a player there due to the you know the COD vision, which helps us quite a fair bit in oh. these sort of uh, situations. You know what, Stealth? If, if I had COD vision playing online, I. I think I might be able to go neutral. I, I think I might get neutral. Still kill a big ratio. You still need thumbs to do it. I, I, that's very, very true. But uh, <laughs> unfortunately, that is not the case. But uh, of course, a great feature here to actually see what's going on. Cambo's really holding back. And, and we can see the, the most advanced players here. It's actually Golly and Rez that have pushed up, but without the bomb. So uh, Cambo is, is quite obviously the dedicated bomb carrier for Nexium. Every single time he's collected that on the attack, I, I don't know why he's held back so long maybe it's a bit of a decoy they're gonna obviously be signaled to go towards b but Husey should surely be able to make this kill yeah he's just holding off Cambo as he just jumps straight over the top of him now pushing towards this b bomb site gonna try and push this bomb up as much as possible not gonna get contested just yet and i think he should just go straight for the bomb plan yep and nobody's around to actually defend this but what's this it's gonna be Husey. if he can make two this is gonna be massive oh, oh and he cannot make it that would have been huge for vendetta nation that could be the deciding factor yeah that was he should have got the kill his shot oh, that second was so wavy there's a 2v2 situation now it's rez and cambo trying to defend this bomb site as there's 31 seconds left on the clock unks and hectics need to step it up and oh. move make a move Real quick. It's going to be the pincer attack now. Will Unks actually spot him? And no, it's unfortunate for Unks. Hectics, a lot of work to do for him now. Is he going to check? Oh. And he's just missed it. And everything seems to be going against Vendetta Nation now. He's going to find Rez. He's not going to be... Oh, he is going to be able to make the kill, but he's not going to have time to get this defuse at all. And that is going to be a Nexium victory. Is Cambo even going to go for this kill? 
And he certainly is. He's going to clean things up. And Nexium take map number two, 6-4. A lot closer, though, than that hardpoint stealth. Oh, without a doubt, you can see that they were more of a search and destroy team. The way that they were moving the bomb, they were, you know, the way they were moving, posing themselves around the map, it was much better from them. And that's why I kind of, as I predicted, I, I thought they were going to take it. But, you know, a good, good effort. And uh, the final scoreboard there, you can see Husey and Rifle Warp and it looks some really impressive figures. In all honesty, not a, a bad attempt. In, in terms of slaying, that was very balanced between the two teams. And I mean, the final scoreline kind of reflects that 6-4. Could have really gone either way, that. Oh, it could have done without a doubt. And it was, it's good to see that Rez actually managed to pick himself back up after going 0-5. Ended up going 6-9 and nine in the end. So well played to him and the rest of the Nexium squad. Yeah. And, uh, of course, we just we just saw Nexium there. Uh, as with any competitive Call of Duty game, after every map, making sure a tweet is sent out. So be sure to be <laughs> following those guys on Twitter if you want to hear what they're saying. Uh, yes, but next game mode is going to be uplink. The pressure really is on for Vendetta Nation now. They have to win every single map without fail. Three maps against a team that's just taken two of them back to back. It's going to be a hell of a task, but we'll find out soon enough. All right, well, we are going to be getting into this game as soon as possible. Until then, though, we're going to cut to a very quick commercial break, and we will be right back with you with map number three.